Hi there everyone, this is Liz. A warm welcome back to this new intuitive energy update. I'm going to tune in to the energies that are present at the moment and my light team to see what they would like to help us with today. What kind of tips or advice or insights that are there for us to perhaps listen to. If you're here listening to this kind of videos, I'm sure there is some kind of synchronicity in that and uh, that the development and teachings that are coming through may help you. So listen to the symbolic images and words that comes <clears throat> from them and apply that uh, as it feels right for you in your own life. If you would like an individual uh, session with me you can check out the information in the box below and it will take you to my website or you can just simply reach out through an email and i will get back to you and if you like this video like everyone else says please subscribe like and share uh, all right let's see what's going on today um I do also have another kind of an announcement. I will do, um, I've been talking about this before, and I will do new recordings, recordings um, one more time each every week uh, with Q&A with my guides. So I've been told that I'm um, going to build a library with different kind of subjects that my guides are going to answer on um for for so it will be easy to find whatever you're interested in to learn more about when it comes to your personal or spiritual development um, <clears throat> so and that will probably be published on thursdays or fridays i'm not giving you the exact time now it will come to it will come to you as a surprise i guess uh, but the recordings uh, regarding this and the Q&A's, it will start this week. So you have something else to look forward to. All right. So let's see about this uh, energy updates now. What we can expect for this week or during this period of time. <clears throat> Oh, so, so they say, take a step back and ponder upon your pond. <laughs> okay, so that was poetic. Ponder upon your own pond. And when they show me a pond and they say pond, they mean your, your own inner container of emotions and energies and what's in there what feels you know a pond is usually very calm because it's it's not so much water and it's not connected to usually not connected to any other kind of water source or streams or uh, such <clears throat> but in this pond they say you can have all all type of different emotions and it can look calm at the surface in a pond but inside there be there can be other type of emotions luring or you know emotions uh, ready to surface for you to be able to notice them more and really acknowledge them and take care of them and you can <clears throat> be a bit um uh, you can do this in beforehand before b before things starts to um, before things starts to uh, um, I can't find the English word now before it starts to steer the calmness and, and uh, become a, a, a big reaction of some kind uh, you can t you can um, look under the surface of yourself and lift the feeling gently 
and heal that feeling and give it understanding in some time you know give it your give it your um, best attention and allowance for it to to surface uh, and that's how you also can grow steadily forward step by step in life by uh, always checking in with yourself to <clears throat> greet and take care of the things that um, are ready to, to surface and ready to come up in your own pond. Um, and they're also showing me a house um, and they say the house represents a home and they say actually a physical home. So this can has to do with, uh, for, for many of you out there, there can be energies in your home that needs to be st stabilized. Okay, so yeah, so this pond can also be pliable for your home. Uh, um, like there is something in your home that kind of disturbs your inner peace in your pond kind of a thing. So that can also be that kind of connection. Uh, and if that's so, you might want to take care of uh, the imbalance in your home if that regards to other people in your home or if it's uh, spirits or if it's uh, um, <clears throat> your own questioning about your home perhaps, like where you want to live or, or um, how to feel at home where you live. Or where your home is, um, you know, your your innermost sacred home is of course in your heart and in yourself. But they are, in this case, they're actually talking about your physical home. So this might be only for a few of you out there that are listening to this, but... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, because it is a connection. <laughs> so if you if you still haven't found, there's something about finding your own inner home will also give you the the uh, physical home where you feel at peace and a place that you always want to return to when you've been out working in the world or being active with things or been out traveling whatever it is so there is a connection here between your inner self and the home and uh, and how to feel balance um, on that peaceful level i always used to say myself like my home I want my home to feel my, like my castle. I only want peace and, and harmony there and for me to, reach, to be able to recharge and feel good about myself and life. And, and yeah, and that's a home for me. Um, a loving, sacred place where I have my beautiful feelings regarding spending time there. Uh, so this is what comes up today. <clears throat> um, uh, you don't need to rush it though, you know, it, it's like take care of your pond uh, firsthand, uh, but consider if there is something regarding a home also that wants to have your attention. Um, okay. Okay, so they're showing me also the neck. <laughs> uh, and they're showing me the spine. So we're getting quite physical here with you today. Um, and you, the physical reality. We want to talk about the physical reality and how you integrate as physical beings because um, even though if we are going through an upgrade frequency upgrade um, 
we are going through that transition with our physical bodies and you still need to integrate your physical bodies uh, on earth. Many of you need, still need to accept that you are here, that your soul sh chose, actually, uh, actually chose this place to live and, uh, and be and create here. Um, so the acceptance first is very important and then also to um, feel um, the loving bond and connection between your soul and your body because that will make you feel much more whole <clears throat> and also you can relax a bit more about where you are in the moment and don't feel that you have to stress all the time to reach the, ne the next level or uh, feeling frustrated that you're not where you <laughs> supposed to be or whatever it is, what kind of feeling you have inside about life. Uh, so please integrate, they say, please integrate uh, the body and the soul together and accept that you're here, what you're going through is for a purpose and... Um, about the neck and the spine, uh, you might experience some kind of uh, door opening there. They call it door opening. And it's almost like that the, the neck and throat area has um, a portal in it. Uh, the energy centra there, of course, is, is um, often where you express verbally things in your life. But they keep showing me the back of the neck. So if you have some kind of blockages there or neck pain or um, um, what, whatever you feel regarding the neck, um, Look into if you can increase the flow there at the moment as well, because it will help you to express yourself creatively, creatively, what do you say? <laughs> More creative. Um, and it will help you not to swallow things. <laughs> uh, and, and more, instead of swallow things, it can help you to speak up for yourself. So if you're someone who rather be quiet to keep the peace, or if you are quiet to, um, because you think you can't uh, express yourself, or if you're quiet because of fears, um, of some kind. Um, try to get the feeling to flow in the neck and throat area because it will help you uh, get more flow with your upper and lower body so you get in, in so you let the flow flow through every energy center. Um, of course there's supposed to be flow in, in every part of you um, and I've been noticing that a lot about the lower chakras that we often have blockages when it comes to the lower chakras because of what I said before uh, regarding our grounding and accepting and uh, that we are here and, and integrating the soul into the body fully to be able to, to manifest and to be able to to do our mission here on earth um, so the lower chakras often come up and and i also think that we are in this uh, period of time i've chosen this to clear out a lot of karmic um, things in our lives to be able to to take ourselves to a new level in a higher frequency, I've been writing about this a lot, in a higher frequency, uh, karma don't exist uh, in the sense that we are used to. 
because uh, we we have higher energies and higher frequencies and but we need to to step through this part now so we can release all the old um, I really don't see karma as something that we are um, you know the church and religion are talking a lot about guilt and, and uh, um, they are talking about a lot of guilt <laughs> things <laughs> when it comes to human actions and I see it more like it functions like karma um, like what you put out there can come back to you to be able to be balanced you know that's more like my approach like it will keep repeating itself into, until until you get it about yourself or about certain situations in your life uh, and it's all about balance you know the universe is is uh, always trying to keep balance and the universe and you you yourself are have this uh, self-healing uh, capacity in its own creation and self-expression so so um, <laughs> look into your pond what it is that steer your surface and what wants to come up and clear that away and you will help yourself so much more to uh, uh, move forward we're all here on the journey as you know as I speak I'm also on my personal journey with with my things and it, it has nothing to do with levels where we are uh, we all we have to stop comparing ourselves to to each other because it's not a competition here on earth you know we have our own path because of um, our soul have chosen this experience and we do it in completely different ways and that's how it's supposed to be so stop looking at others how other people are doing and um, love yourself and acknowledge yourself for the accomplishment that you managed to do step by step mm, okay I don't know if I lost a thread here. <laughs> uh, was there something else I was supposed to say? Ah, I don't know. It will come back to me if so. I think it, it feels like I lost the thread here a bit. Like there was something else that I was supposed to say, but I wandered off. <laughs> um, all right. yeah and the neck so and the physical integration so i just wanted to touch base on that again um because i'm seeing you know every vertebra in in um, in your spine are connected to different so, you, you know, you usually say within holistic medicine, I've been working with that, for you who don't know that, I've been working full time as a therapist in holistic medicine for about nine years before I choose to, to take another path and only work with people's personal development and, and soul missions. So within holistic medicine, you know every part of you is often connected to something else like your inner organs and, and your teeth and your vertebra and your organs are connected to each other and affect each other and uh, but now they give me some kind of other type of information that i actually never heard before and they are showing me other parallel lives and other lifetimes we do know that we can have, um, oh yeah, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I get teached here as well. <laughs> so we do know that um, we can come into this lifetime 
with certain effects from what what people used to call uh, or some people call previous lives and I call them parallel lives so we can come in from those lives with birthmarks or uh, handicaps because the energy are so strong we can come into this lifetime with different kind of sickness or illnesses and um, uh, effects on the physical body although they might be a bit smaller but there can be effects from other type of lifetime so so that is what they are bringing up now the effect from parallel lives into this lifetime on your physical body your physical functions so you 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 don't only have um the genes from your linear in this lifetime you can also have um um, effects from other <laughs> lives and uh, families and accidents and traumas and stuff like that from other lives if it's if it's um, strong enough energetically um, <clears throat> and if it's strong enough energetically it also means that it kind of follow you through the realms for you to be able to heal it and keep on healing on that in this lifetime because i'm seeing a transfer of the energy so and uh, the vertebrae in the spine they are also co uh, connected to They are like a puzzle piece, they, they're calling them, they are a puzzle piece and are connected to parallel lives somehow. And sometimes you can, you can um, meet people who really have big problems with their spine and their back. And sometimes the issue is not in this life, it can be from another life. Um, it can be both sometimes as well, a mix of it. But they contain information, that's what they are saying now, they contain information, every vertebra contain information about um, every physical structure that you have lived. In, in some kind of physical reality. So it could be here on Earth or it can be on another planet or another reality where you have had a physical body or manifestation of some kind. So as long as you are born somewhere with a physical body, <laughs> information is kind of stored uh, through the cell through in the soul um, and it kind of gives you some kind of um, structure energetic structure <laughs> that will keep kind of uh, coming in life after life so that's why it's so important to also look at those um, pieces or those part of you uh, that might need to disconnect or heal from, from all that you are, from every kind of experience you had. And, and those things that are coming from other lives, they are not, even if they were strong experienced in that lifetime, they're not that um, strong to uh, not that hard to heal in this life that's what they are saying because um, um, it might only be the trauma energy that have been transferred but you might not have had the behavior pattern transferred so yeah, oh wow, <laughs> this feels like a big subject that I actually need to channel a bit more in, in quiet time. 
um, because it feels like I can talk about this a lot. Um, so, <clears throat> and so why they bring up this now is because uh, you 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 should see yourself as a whole being with all that you are, your soul and your body and um, getting into the feeling of belonging in this life, belonging in this life and concentrate and focus and, and gather your energy here in what you want to do. Um, as soon as you have all these kind of different unhealed things, they will always be uh, a bit of a, you know, drag you down a bit or slow you down a bit or something like that. Um, so they are like stones that you, <laughs> that you would like to look at and, and surrender, heal and surrender and throw them away, whatever you need to do. And sometimes or often we have themes that seems to come through a lot of different lives. Um, and if you, if you feel with yourself that, yeah, it feels like I have this theme over and over again. I have memories from other past, uh, past parallel lives that still keeps coming up in, even in this life or I, or I had this, uh, it, when I was young, perhaps it came up. So, and, and it keeps coming back until you have healed the parts that you need to heal. And also, uh, you know, getting the insights that you need to get. And also <laughs> remember who you are in all this. Always remember who you are and build on that power, the, that energy power, the soul the soul energy, the life force that you that you are. Uh, so it's a parallel uh, um, journey until you reach a certain level where it kind of all just scale off automatically, and you start to feel that you you're on the other side of things, where things just wash away very easily now and and you can just float a bit more even in the physical world you know when you start to to feel the flow of of things feel the flow of life and you allow yourself to go with that mm. and that doesn't mean that nothing ever again will come up uh, it might still be some things uh, now and then that needs to be cleansed out. But as long as you've come over that that uh, middle uh, line, the center where things will start to <laughs> flow, um, you will get so much. Uh, it, things that appears in your life will heal so much quicker. You know, so you will get over things much quicker because you, you have that energy going and you're on the other side of something, your own frequency. You know, you've, you've got a higher frequency that helps you release things quicker. Um, no matter what they are all about and and we live in a time where we can perceive the time as moving very quickly. You know, I feel that myself that whoops, and that's another week again. And whoops, <laughs> that's another week again. And what happens with the time, you know, um, but we can also on the other hand, get this extremely strong experiences in everyday life uh, when we're out in the forest and we sense the energies that can sense uh, and feel so much stronger uh, 
um, or whatever it might be for you. Um, so the present is, is kind of stronger. <laughs> um, so I feel, I feel that uh, what's what's happening right now is all for you to you know what they if we step back to what they are talking about in the beginning like ponder over your pond and for you to be able to do that you need some time to reflect and and allow things to come to the surface and do it naturally take some pauses now and then and uh, meditate or think about or reflect or contemplate mm, you know when you you are in a good state to to reflect what you need to do to feel that sense of inner connection where you can actually talk to yourself and uh, talk to your heart and ask inner questions and So when do you do that best? You know, although I, I am a teacher in meditation as well, you know, sometimes I reflect best when I'm out for a walk. You know, so many things are coming to me when I'm moving. Um, it has to do with the circulation and, and the... And the Especially if I've been working a whole day and something and I go out for a walk, you know, things loosen up and it becomes another type of circulation in my mind and in my body and solutions come to me easily. And, um, and you can also see things uh, more often from another type of perspective. So what is your best way to connect within and give you a bit deeper reflection of things right now. Ponder over your pond. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see if there is anything else before I end this video. Mm. <laughs> I'm being shown herbs, herbs, and and uh, the the um, the gifts of herbs. But they say we can talk about that another time because we would love to talk about plants and herbs and um, and the connection to the body, the physical body. So, yeah, all right. So they're giving you a cliffhanger. <laughs> I've never, I never done that before, but yeah, there you go. Cliffhanger, herbs. Uh, all right, so thank you so much for listening to this video and um, I wish you the very best for this week and I will be, will get back to you soon in a few days with a video regarding... Q&A with my guides. Take care. Bye.